Hey guys, this is DJ Mizuharu from Redstone Gamer. Today I'd like to show you how to create a Japanese account. Uh, today is Friday the 21st of February. So this is a day before the PlayStation 4 is launched in Japan. And I've seen a few people asking, how do I make a PlayStation Japanese account? So I'm here to show you. So let's start off from this screen press the PlayStation button to use the controller so we need to make a new user account okay so here new user click on that create a user accept and I want for now I want you to skip and again on add face data skip that and okay that so you just created a login user okay so profile I want you to go to your profile and edit the name I'm gonna edit this to Japan it has to be over three characters so there you go you have signed in with well you've logged in using your uh, Japanese login okay so now you want to create a PlayStation account so Let's go to the main screen over to the left and highlight the PlayStation Store and click into it and I want you to scroll down to the bottom new to PSN create an account click on that this is now going to auto detect where you are and I'm in Japan so it's going to auto detect that I'm in Japan you're in the States or you're in the UK it will auto detect your own country but we'll all get to the same place so just want you to whatever screen you're on get to the same screen as this one so here is his country and obviously you want to make an account in Japan so Japan language you've only got one choice Japanese you can't switch so leave it down uh, is your date of birth and here is the year so I think if you're gonna create an account you should uh, use your real date of birth because just in case you forget the password you've at least you got something to fall back on and once you've created uh, well input your birthday and if it's right you should get that circle with a tick in it if you don't uh, I guess you have to be a little bit older I guess over 18 or something like that anyways so you get the circle with the tick next here it's asking for your zip code so let's make it easy five and six zeros one two three four five six next and then go there you go you got the circle with the tick this is asking for the prefecture and use the top one which is Hokkaido and next is your um, basically the address I'm just gonna go haha -ha. um, there you go haha -ha. and you've got three circles with ticks in it which means good to go so next here it's asking you for your email address to be tied to this account so you'll need a separate email address for your Japanese account uh, it's pretty simple to go to Google and create a new account so let's use an email address that isn't currently tied to any Japanese um, any Japanese PSN accounts so I'm gonna actually I'm aware this isn't and when you'll find out it'll either go a red exclamation mark or a circle with a tick let's find out there you go verified and it is not tied so we can use it next password has to be eight characters including one number okay so whatever one and qwerty one two three four five six 
seven plus the one is eight and it's correct so one one two three four five six seven plus one is eight there you go uh, this is asking you if you would like to uh, basically subscribe to a newsletter um, letting you know new games services campaigns blah 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 you can say yes send it to me no don't want it it's up to you i'm gonna go with yeah next and now it's asking you to use uh an online id so pretty simple actually first of all it's going to ask you to uh, select an avatar so you've got action action adventure character you know family and stuff like that so you basically choose the avatar that you that you like okay i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go with this one very simple and now it's asking you for your id uh online id so i'm going to use I believe no uh, okay so I've got another one which is RSG TV so I'm gonna say no I don't want that next I'm gonna add JP I want some caps though JP and there you go correct so now this is asking for your name and your family name so if you want to do it put in your full your full family name if you don't don't i'm just gonna put initials and here it's asking you if you want to use your real name so when you're online people can see your real name uh if you don't uncheck and it'll just use your online id so depending on what kind of privacy settings you want you can choose yes i want to show my name no i don't um but yeah i'm gonna say i'm gonna say yeah okay so here it's asking uh your profile and privacy settings so this is uh, basically show to the world friends of friends just your friends or nobody it's going to open up for everybody next this is going to ask you about who gets access to your uh, your videos and trophies so again the world friends of friends your friends or nobody so if you put nobody you see everything is uh everything is basically uh, dulled out um but if you choose like the world everything is highlighted again but you still have these uh check boxes so if you uncheck video there you go it on highlights and trophies if you check that again it on highlights but yeah so choose whatever you want next and now it's creating it and this is basically your user agreement um, if you don't want to scroll all the way just push to the right and select this and now it's creating your account give it a second while it basically puts all your information online uh, now it's asking you do you want to connect this account to your Facebook I'm gonna say no I don't own a Facebook account Again, let it do its thing. Okay, so now it's ask well showing you PlayStation Plus, the benefits of PlayStation Plus. So basically, online multiplayer, free play games, uh, online storage. Uh, you can use with your PlayStation Three, your your Vita, your Vita TV. Um, yeah, so next 
so here it's a campaign so you'll get three months free of PlayStation Plus uh, if you want if you don't just go to skip but if you want it click on this three months of free PlayStation Plus this is the campaign uh, I'm not too sure how long it's it's available for it doesn't say there it just says it's three months so click on it and yep yeah, this is free so that one's cancelled and that one's yep yeah, I want it basically obviously I haven't as you've seen I haven't included any credit card information but there you go just says Yep, yeah, so there you go. You got three months free of PlayStation Plus. Click OK. And here depends on which account is your main account if you want to activate it or not. So I'm not going to activate it because I have another account to use as my Japanese account. So I'm going to do not activate. But if you want to, you can. OK, so there you go. That's done. You now have a playstation a japanese playstation account and here you are in the playstation store so up top the store search and cart okay playstation 4 campaign so here this is the playstation 4 campaign um basically if you subscribe to playstation plus you'll get some benefits you'll get uh, basically ten dollars as a present in your account and you have an opportunity to win some kind of TV you've got a rental 30 days music and PlayStation plus three months extra but you've already got that so that's cool don't need that so welcome and basically this is what's on the store the store actually isn't complete at the moment because you'll see it's a uh, this is Yakuza Ishin, but it's not uh, available to actually download. If I click on it, nothing happens. Uh, if I click on Call of Duty, it works. And you can buy it for $80. No, thank you. But yeah, everything, well, not everything, but a lot of the stuff is, uh, is available for you to download. Although Ishin isn't. So this is what's available. As you can see, there's uh, there's an empty placeholder. You got music and you got videos as well. Uh, PlayStation music and videos are usually region locked, so I wouldn't really bother unless you're in Japan um, and you can get around, or unless you can get around it. You got like a VPN or something like that. Uh, obviously, this is PlayStation Plus. Um, don't need that. So this is the main part, game. So here, game top. So you got all the all your games. Okay. Categories, items, downloadable games. PS3 to PS4. Uh, this is. basically free to play is indies here um yeah so if you go back so this one is recommended and they're recommending you getting playstation plus which is a kind of a no-brainer really considering it works across your playstation 3 and your vita okay this is new content and it says new game and basically all the new games will be here again Ishin doesn't work dynasty warriors does though if you want to spend 71 dollars no thank you then yeah then this is new items for your game so for example battlefield it should give you a list of items and these are packs that you can buy uh, looks like they're free for the moment yeah campaign is free okay so and here says new demo and as you can see there's something here that is not uh, 
just three spaces for something which should appear sometime today in time for the launch but you can download the demo of FIFA or Mahjong sexy Mahjong uh, but Yixin is still currently unavailable okay so this is just campaign from PlayStation 3 to 4 this is disc based games downloadable games uh, this is a free to play game dream club host girls on stage it's a free to play game um, yeah uh, these are games over 18 basically top shelf games uh, free to play that's an MMO that's Warframe and I've got no idea what's going to be there uh, Indies so obviously Warframe Contrast what have you and this is all games uh, Resogun for example it's like 15 bucks but if you scroll down to basically other and you've got a PlayStation account. There you go. It says it's free for PlayStation members. Okay. Um, again, items. Yep. And demos. Uh, as I said before, there's three blanks. I'd love to know what's going to be there. And Ishin still doesn't work. You can search by title. Um, so, for example, I'm looking for the Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. So, Metal Gear would be under Matt, which is here. Matt. And then you've got two videos to watch. You've got the uh, Ground Zeroes. This is from TGS. And this is the Phantom Pain from E3. Can watch those. Yeah, you can watch that. This is watch. those scroll out out again and you go down one and this is maker so you got different makers electronic arts uh, Capcom Koi so let's go to Capcom what's in Capcom we have Strider PV which is probably promotional video deep down and deep down prologue trailer uh, deep down is currently unavailable just a prologue trailer but yep so this is a list of developers so yeah that's that uh, then you've got video obviously you're not going to be able to watch most of this stuff or probably any of it So obviously you've got the categories as well. Anime, dramas. Yeah, no thanks. Music. This is your music unlimited tie-in. Yeah, obviously if you're not in Japan, you're not going to get it. This one is your library. You've got no content. Uh, my videos, obviously. Um, and product code input. So if you hit triangle, it'll jump straight to store. And click on store, it'll go back to the top. Um, so for search, okay. You're in Japan and you wanna search for Strider. But at the moment you've got, you can only input English and inputting English into the Japanese store doesn't get you anywhere 
So you can fix that. Here, there's normally an icon that hasn't been set. So if you want to set it, you can do that by pressing the PlayStation button. So let's do that. PlayStation button. Right, okay. So now scroll up and to settings. In settings, hit language. Input languages, keyboard, and use a dictionary. So at the moment, you've got English, United States checked. So scroll down, select Japanese, S uh, select the checkbox, and you're done. So there you go, you're in Japanese. So if you press the PlayStation button again, go back into the store. And let's search for Strider again. So go down to the bottom. Now you've got a keyboard icon. Click on that. Push right. Now you've got a Japanese input. Okay, so Strider. I'm just going to do the first two characters, which is Su To. Okay. Then go to the drop down. And then Su To in Katakana. The first. This is all Hiragana. Um, but you really want to search for it in Katakana because it's Strider, just it's a Western word. So search, and it will bring up everything with under su su dot, and there you go, su drida. You click on that, and you can watch it. So, yep, that's how you do that. Maybe I should show you how to download it game or something okay let's uh i really don't want to do this but okay so new game let's go for a demo let's get mahjong okay so click on mahjong and then you've got two boxes the top one that it's highlighted on by default just click on it then it'll put it in your shopping cart. Today would be nice. Hello, hello. Come on. There you go. And it's downloaded. There you go. Added to your downloads. Okay. So that's done. So click out of that and you can see it downloading go to your notifications downloads there you go it's downloading so yeah that's uh, your PlayStation how to create a Japanese account on your PlayStation 4 and if you found this useful, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching. This is Gigi Mizuhara. It's got a summer this.